All right, so let's talk about our weather yeah. and really the question is whether any of that could possibly affect us in our area. And Ron, you're kind of zoomed in right now on what they're dealing with. Yeah, you know, this is going to be one of those unfortunate days. We have a what we would consider a rare high risk of severe weather. Uh, the bullseye really is going to be right on top of Jackson, Mississippi. It does extend into parts of Arkansas, Louisiana, and Alabama at this point. And then you have that moderate risk, the dark red colors that is going to include places like Memphis, over into Birmingham, Alabama as well, northern parts of uh, really kind of northeastern parts of Louisiana. This is an area that we are looking at for large and destructive long track tornadoes that will at least be possible today. So we'll keep an eye out on them there. If you are heading down that way, please remain weather aware. I know there are at least a few folks here in North uh, or, uh, Western Pennsylvania uh, that are doing just that. Would it take you actually outside just a little bit outside of today's uh, area where we have the risk? This is going to be over into the Dallas area. They have some nasty weather there. In fact, reports already of two inch hail uh, moving through uh, parts of central uh, Texas. Texas this morning that is now impacting the Dallas area area low pressure will continue to track our way and we'll bring with it a chance for uh, just some rain showers for us but it does look like a full day's worth of rain will be possible on Thursday and then it wraps up early on Friday morning as some snow at least will be possible on the backside of that system could be as a little bit of a surprise to you just how much snow we get could be some minor accumulation for about an hour or two before it melts off so a solid chance we're going to go 100%. The Thursday chance for some rain and a mix on Friday. How much rain are we looking at? Well, some communities could see upwards of two inches of rain. So this is a big weather event for us, even though we're not expecting any severe weather to come from it. Hey, temperatures right now, it's 35 outside. Winds are calm and they're going to be a variable today. Uh, here's a look at those temperatures for you. You're right around the 30 degree mark uh, for places north of Allegheny County, generally mid to upper 30s, near 40 degrees degrees for places south of Allegheny. For today, 66, your expected high in Pittsburgh. Most places should reach the mid 60s out there. And I have Latrobe at 66. Your one o'clock temperature 61, four o'clock 65. This just kind of breaking down your day and a seven o'clock temperature coming in at 63 degrees. Let's head over to your uh, seven day outlook. Today is St. Patrick's Day. Hopefully you can find a pot of gold out there. 66, your expected high. Thursday expected high of 50 55 degrees and then we start to cool down a high on Friday of just 45 degrees and that's likely going to be the uh, morning low or the low I should say on Thursday. Uh, we're all the way down to 26 by the end of the day on Friday and dropping down to 20 degrees as we're starting off Saturday on the cold side. 58 your Saturday expected high though and highs well into the 60s again on Sunday. Weekend looks good. All right. Thank you, Ron. We appreciate it.